do I want to do a liner? No, I'm not doing no damn liner. I'm about to put these lashes on and call it a day. Oh, child. I don't know why y'all got me on here talking about doing some hair. Like, I don't do hair. I thought I made it really clear that I don't do hair. But it's easy to get ready with me. So look how I look, y'all. We about to start on the hair. I did not say hi to y'all because I'm pissed because I don't feel like doing my hair, especially on camera because I'm not a hair person. But hey, you guys, what's up? <laughs> um, Yeah, you bet. You guys better have your notification bells on and all that good stuff. I'm not even going to my little spiel because I'm upset with y'all for asking me to do this. But here we are. So my hair looks a mess. Um, I definitely like need a retwist. I'm going to take this, uh, basically it's like leave-in instant conditioning treatment. Uh, Y'all know my camera not going to focus on nothing because I have it all locked on my face so that it doesn't go in and out while I'm recording. But yeah, this is basically just a coconut oil mixture and some water. Let's just be real. So, my hair just needs to be moisturized basically is what I'm trying to tell y'all. It's a mess, it's a mess. But y'all, I'm getting it done soon and that's all I can say about that, okay? Yeah. So anyway, I'm just going to spray around my hair to like get it moisturized. Ooh, I can't believe I'm trying to do my hair and I'm not even in the bathroom. Like, what am I doing? So pretty much, you guys, the trick to get that sleek like bun I had is basically to make sure that your hair is good and flat. Okay, we want it to be flat. So I already have like basically a side part going on um, as much as I can. The way that my locks are... Um, separated or whatever this is like the best little side part I can get so what I do is I just slick this back to how like I want it make sure everything is flat and I don't really have to do too much to make sure that it's flat because my hair has been like this like pretty much all week so it's kind of like I don't want to say stuck in the style but <laughs> when I first did it like y'all I had to like tie it down and everything so to how I get my little swoop is I pull some locks like to the front and I lay them down like across my forehead the way that I want it and then I swoop it like this behind my ear and I just keep pulling back and basically I pull this up y'all cause like I'm gonna bobby pin it anyway so you know it don't have to really be backed. I, I pull it up to how like I really want it to like lay. So again just trying to keep everything smooth and taut and I just pull it back. So this is pretty much the easy part y'all. Now the hard part where I'm gonna have to struggle is like the bun part, but anyway, I have my scrunchie. It, this is a huge scrunchie, if you guys can't tell. Like, it's huge, I can't now, cause I only have, you know what? Do it for the gram, do it for the YouTube, look. <laughs> uh -huh. mm -hmm. It stretches, okay. See what I do for y'all? Now, um, depending on where you want your bun is how you position it. So if I want it like to the back, then I make sure the ponytail is to the back. And if I want it like more, to the side then you know I'll do it to the side and I actually do because I feel like it was more to the back last time so let's try to like do it to the side uh, and you just gonna make a ponytail just try to make it well if you have a lot of locks or and your hair is as thick as mine girl make it tight <laughs> as tight as you can okay y'all and this looks a hot mess but it's okay we're gonna get it. Look, let me. I gotta roll up my sleeves because I'm about to get in there, y'all. And so then I pull, like, you know, to make it taut and tight and get all the hair just through there. All right. So basically, you got like a fluffy side pony going on right now, and this could be cute. We could rock with this, but we're not today. You're gonna take those bobby pins, and you don't have to do this stuff, actually. I just feel like. It's kind of like for decoration and it does make sure everything is more secure. And I just push it in. And you can put as many or as little of the pins in there as you want. I'm gonna put probably like about four. But for the bun part, you guys, I have a stocking that I've cut on both sides. So you see opening here and then it's a well, look, I could just slide my arm through it so y'all can see. It's cut on both sides. And I put the little um, lock ponytail inside of that. Like, you know, like so like, like it's a scrunchie around it. And I'm going to take another one of my extremely elastic um, bands. And it's the part, y'all. Ooh, child, look. 
you're going to like fold your hair over it. Y'all know like we used to do this in high school the, with, the, with our socks and make the little donut bun, bu the donut buns. Yeah, that's basically what you're gonna do. But it's gonna be real hard because like, you know, locks aren't as uniform or mine aren't as like loose hair. So you know you wanna make sure that that beige stocking is covered up. So basically, it looks, <laughs> it looks, it look, bear with me because it is, I never said it was easy and I don't like to do this. But I like the style, but I hate doing it, which is why like the same bun that was in my head was in my head since yesterday. I just took it out. <laughs> I like I don't know how to explain this. Like, look, I just do it. Look, I finesse it basically, y'all. Ain't no like one, two, three step with this. I finesse this. <sighs> okay, y'all. So I'm gonna go around with another elastic band, and I'm just gonna double it like across my hand um, already, and go back over it. And basically, what, basically all the like little loose locks, whatever I missed the first time, I'm gonna try to get the second time. Okay, so y'all see like all these little locks over here playing with you. We got some for that. It's called a rubber band. <laughs> so last time, um, can y'all see this? Last time I had two of them. I don't know how many we gonna have this time. But basically you wanna take these little locks that's playing and act like they too short to go into, you know, a, a elastic band or have some restriction. You gonna pull them out. Pull them out, call them out, call them out. Y'all wanna play? Like y'all too short to go into the band? Oh no, I got something for y'all. Pull them out. They wanna play? Y'all, don't try to make me seem like I ain't got no hair. <laughs> look, y'all wanna play? You gonna pull them out, y'all. So now look, they look way longer than they did before. You just gonna take them and fold them like the rest of the hairs. Oh, this one wanted to play too. Let me pull her out. Okay, and put the band over it. And if it's one or two like you're sticking out, just tuck it. So I have my little edge brush here. And basically, I'm just going to brush my edges back. All right, so this is pretty much the bun, you guys. But like, what's really going to set it off? Set it off is going to be this um, setting. I was going to say setting control. This foaming mousse, so setting lotion, whatever, this is just a lot of body. I'm gonna pump some in my hand, and then I'm just gonna, this is gonna just, when I tie it down, like any frizziness or like puffiness that I have in my roots or whatever, it's gonna just, we're done. And while this is sitting, cause I hate doing my makeup with this scarf on, like I'm not even going to, uh, I'm going to be doing my, um, eyebrows off camera. Hey guys, I'm back. And my hair is laid, you guys. All right, so that's the hair tutorial. Now, I did my eyebrows, you guys. I used my Kiss um, pen. What is this? Top, it's called Top Brow uh, Drugstore. Drugstore, okay? So this is Kiss Top Brow. I'm gonna start linking everything in the description, you guys. And for like my brow bone highlight, of course, it's the LA Girl Pro Concealer in the color Toffee. So, um, I am going to do, look, going for my Morphe palette is always, baby, I'm about to do something simple. Y'all, I know y'all like, you always say you do, I'm not gonna use this one though. I'm going to use the new one. Or I may use my freaking Gemini palette, hold on. I wanna do something neutral, or do I? Cause I think I wanted to do something dark, but then like a glitter on the crease. And I'm gonna use my Gemini palette cause I haven't in a while. It's just uh, my LA Girl Pro Concealer, the same one I underlined or highlighted my brows with or carved out my brows with, whatever you wanna say. If you guys have the Gemini palette, I will tell y'all the color. So this is freaking polka dot and it's like a really, really brown color, obviously you see it. I love my Milk Cosmetic Gemini palette because when I tell y'all the color pay off, no! It's fallout. Oh my god. And I don't have a freaking wet wipe or makeup wipe during the bathroom. Oh, so don't be forget to talk about brushes because I've been having people wanting me to talk about brushes. So this is the Morphe E23. Um, and it's a blending brush apparently. So Sigma is supposed to be sending me some brushes. Well, they didn't say what, but I'm pretty sure it's gonna be brushes because it's Sigma. Um, and when I get that, I'll talk more in depth about makeup brushes for all of you guys that were curious. But again, this is the Morphe E23 and it's a blending brush and I love it. 
I love Morphe brushes, period, but yeah. I use this brush almost like every freaking day or every time I'm doing my makeup. And also, you know, with the brushes, Morphe freaking eyeshadow palettes are like great eyeshadow palettes for beginners. Um, or just anybody in general, but I say that because like they're so freaking affordable and they're like really good quality Okay, and so now I'm gonna go into this darker brown in the Gemini palette called cupcake Since, since cupcake didn't want to be dark enough. That's cool because Bonnie is black and I know that that's dark So I'm just gonna go in with this black. I wasn't even trying to like Be dark, but screw it and Bonnie's potent. So that's why like I dip into the other eye because ooh, child and I tell y'all these eyeshadows are pigmented. So I don't know if I told you guys or not, but next weekend I'm going to go visit my brother um, at Wake Forest and because he's a senior and I have yet to go to one of his football games and I told him I was gonna go. And so like, this is like the last one I think and I have to go. And I'm gonna vlog it. I hope I can be good and don't eat crazy. I'm probably gonna have a funnel cake because we're going to Carol Wins, but <laughs> um, other than that, I'm gonna try to stay on track you guys. Mark my words when I say try. So for the lid, I'm gonna be using the Gemini color in the Gemini palette. It's actually called Gemini. And it's like a peachy glitter, like that. I feel like I've done this eye before because I always use like the same colors together. But like the more I pack it on, it's snow and glitter on my damn face. Jesus. You guys can't see it, but it's literally like a winter wonderland of glitter all on my face. A winter wonderland, y'all. And I'm just spreading it because this isn't white. So we're going to be real glowy today because I swear I'm not going to get a wet wipe. We're just going to like put the makeup right over this. I don't. I'm not. <laughs> I don't even care. Do I want to do a liner? No, I'm not doing no damn liner. I'm about to put these lashes on and call it a day. So like while I'm waiting on this, oh my God, I have glitter transfer in my crease. No, y'all. This is why I don't even care for eyeshadow like that. Like I swear, I only really wear eyeshadow when I'm recording a video for y'all. Because other than, girl, I don't have that to do. What you have on your lashes, like. Yep, that's how I feel right now. I'm gonna go on with the face. I'm glad that the eyes are over, but I will go like and smoke out the bottom. But I got glitter all on my face, and like I told y'all, I'm not, I'm not gonna wipe it off. Like I'm really not. I'm just gonna throw my primer on, and it's gonna be all right. And this is the Becca Ever Matte Poreless Primer. I've told you guys about this primer. It's gold, and it, it, it dries you out. Like it keeps you dry. And I wasn't supposed to put it on my cheek area because I don't need to be dry right there, but it's there now. So, um, if you're oily like me, and I come home and I be looking like a damn oil spill, this primer is lit, and they have like the little sample travel size. It definitely, girl, you definitely gonna be mad. You gonna wish you had some oil on your skin when Becca get through with your ass. I wish I had some, that's why I'm about to go in right now with my Fasali Unicorn Essence because I'm already drying out, and I don't have any more Fasali. It's just like a little bit left. So I did use it all pretty much. For foundation, gonna be using my NYX Can't Stop, Won't Stop in the color is Warm Mahogany. Y'all, if y'all, y'all part of the Brit Brigade, y'all know that I like use basically the same makeup products all the time because I just cannot keep buying more. Like it doesn't make any sense. And most of my products are freaking drugstore. So and the one thing about this NYX Can't Stop, Won't Stop is it dry is dry too so it doesn't dry you out like becca and like make you feel like it's dry but it dries quickly so um you gotta work it kind of reminds me of the the fancy beauty foundation and the brush i'm using to like you see how like i'm pushing my foundation in this brush is also a morphe brush and it is the 439 brush and i just repurchased this brush i'm looking for it oh it's here <laughs> I'm trying to hurry up because this will dry. Oh, I picked up the wrong one. I'm sorry. I'm doing way too much. I just want to make sure the number was right. Yep, it's a Morph it's a Morphe 439. And yeah, I had to repurchase it because actually I don't know why I'm using the old one. The old one, the hair shed, but apparently it don't shed too bad because I'm using it. But I did buy another one because the day that this is like, baby, you just can't use it no more. I want it to be prepared. 
So as you can see, a lot of my brushes actually are Morphe. And I have a lot of brushes that are just old brushes. But to be clear, if I'm gonna be purchasing brushes now, they'll probably be Sonia Kashuk, Morphe, or Sigma brushes. And those are like the only brushes that I'll buy. I mean, Real Techniques are, is good too, but I prefer Morphe and it's not really that big of, much big of a price difference. And Morphe has way like more brushes than Real Techniques. And so the Beauty Blender that I'm using or like the Beauty Sponge, this is a Sonia Kashuk sponge. And it actually came in like an assortment variety pack and it's pretty cool. So I like to give you guys different options so i know that everybody doesn't have a beauty blender and let's be real the beauty blender is extremely expensive like 20 dollars for a sponge it's bomb though it is i love the black one but i mean there are other ones out there y'all remember that time i told y'all i wanted to know his job i mean you really risk like messing up your face. Like a nose job is one of those things, plastic surgery, where like you can really like F your face up. And I was like afraid of that. Like even though I want to like, you know, make my nose slimmer or whatever, like what if I got a nose job and it like totally like just F up my face? Like I'll be so pissed. So good thing we have makeup and contouring because um, I'm not trying to like mess my face up to be doing extra stuff. So, nope, you can count me out of the facial plastic surgery. We will not be doing that. So I'm gonna set with my Laura Mercier setting powder. And I just do wanna make a note that Laura is like one of my favorite setting powders of all, setting powders of all time. So I'm not mad. That's why she's on top of the desk. Like I use Laura all the time. So I really like all my setting powders, but Laura and Airspun, gold. Like I think that Laura is so bomb because it's so finely milled. Like, you can't even feel her so you don't like get cakey or anything with her also i don't experience any flashback but i don't bake or anything so that could be why powder wear <laughs> are you sure you set your face even just looking at her on my skin in my face like laura looks so good does it not look bomb like could i not leave the house like this like looking like a cold core and it still would be okay because laura is just that bomb and fashionable i think i could i don't think anybody would really be staring like I still look pretty, pretty well. Like, I look good. So since I don't bake, I just like push the powder in and then whatever is like, you know, too bright, I'll go over it with a setting, not a setting powder per se, but like a powder of um, more of my skin tone. The powder that I'm using that's like my skin tone is the Black Radiance Press Powder in Bronze Glow. Doesn't it look like my skin tone? So I only use that to like make sure I don't flash back from Laura in case she want to be tripping and she on some shit. I have to like <laughs> go over it like Laura don't play with me girl. You already know. And now I'm on to contouring and I'm using the cream, sh the cream shop and this is California. Can I speak? I'm using the cream shop um, and it is in California Dreaming. I found this contour at uh, uh, CVS and I had never heard of the cream shop brand but apparently they've been a brand since like 1988 I don't know but I really really like this powder it's pretty and it's not like really drastic but it's not well it's a bronzer so I don't think I said that's not a contour powder it's a bronzer which is why like it has the red you know Cause it ain't really like supposed to be dark. You're like, it ain't cool tone or anything. And this just put like all of the color right back in my face. So the brush I used, I'm sorry you guys. I'm not used to telling you guys about brushes. It was the Elf Complexion brush. Pretty bomb. Now for nose contouring, this brush is some off brand brush that Bear gave me like in a pack. So I will make a video specifically about brushes so you guys can see them up close, but you can't really see this. So I won't really talk about it but it's basically like a little angled brush but the video that I'm gonna make about the brushes will show the brushes like up close all right so I'm gonna just go back into my Gemini palette and finish up the eyes all right so for blush you guys I'm gonna be using matte devil I love this blush I use it like pretty much every day it's an orange blush so you know it's not for a friend of heart but I just told you guys I love blush so I don't mind and plus it also helps to just push back some more color in my face because bro, Laura be trying to turn you into a white girl, bro. I'm trying to tell you. I'm gonna use my Fenty Beauty and how many carrots, the Diamond Bomb, because I haven't used it in a while. I usually put a liquid highlighter with it 
and I'm wishing I would have now because like it's just so like glittery it looks wet so it's not really like a highlight and I just have my brown lip liner on it's kiss as well in this luxury intense lip liner in dark brown and as I was putting it on y'all I noticed that my mustache was like screaming at me like it's on time so I'm gonna be using MAC naturally transformed for my lipstick today she's not like my nude that I usually use she's light like she's light skin I'm also gonna put a gloss on with her because y'all know that I love my glossy lips so this is my Fenty Beauty in diamond milk and you guys this is pretty much the look so i'm done with my makeup and now i'm gonna move on and show you guys my outfit okay guys so don't look in my room like I got fashion over stuff over there I never make up my bed but <laughs> I want to show you guys my outfit of the day so these are some boots that I got from fashion Nova and um I think they're really really cute I got them in a size up and I just have on this Victoria's Secret um pink it's not pink but you know they're labeled pink sweater and some black leggings so I mean, it's pretty, pretty basic, but my style is pretty basic. I don't dress like uh, y'all regular, like, YouTubers or Instagrammers. Like, um, I wear stuff that the normal person can wear, baby doll. We not going to the club every day. Actually, I don't go to the club at all. So, I always just look really uh, regular and basic and do my little pose. <laughs> just to show y'all my butt like I'm a regular Instagrammer. Okay, oh, you two were sorry, both. <laughs> but anyway, you guys, this is the outfit. And, yep, that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching this Get Ready With Me. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know if you want more videos like this in the future down in the comment box. And I'll see you guys later.